everybody, it's T one of those girls. Well, like, subscribe, and comment. But most of all, don't forget to hit the red button. We call it the red bell for notification. Guys, as you guys can already see the title of this girl talk, but of course, it can be a girl talk without some food. So we are done. A maga bang. Maga bang. Guys, I'm just waiting. Magban. I hope I don't do more eating than doing. Ah, that's a lot. Oh, a lot. We are eating and talking anything and everything that has to do with the girl underneath the sun and how it feels to be black, young female, and women. Yeah, yeah. So, girls, I, I have a topic actually because this topic has been bothering me for quite some time, right? Okay. As you guys can already see, I'm a big girl. And there was this um, casting I went to, right? I think I've talked about it on... Um, let's talk about it in general. If you're going, you go on a casting, right? And then at that casting, they tell you that it's not what they're looking for. It's not your target market. I've had that too. Yeah. What is it? Or oh, who molded us as South Africans, as women... There must be a target market. <clears throat> I would like to know that. Okay, I feel a vision for a brand is not the same. So you can be someone, you can be some, you could be something that someone is looking for. You can be something someone is not looking for. I remember this one, I'm not going to name it, name any companies. So there was this one brand um, and I asked them, you know, I'm into modeling, I'm into what, I'm into that. And they told me straight up, you're too fat. You're big. So I'm like, nah, okay, I don't take offense, guys. I don't take offense. It's okay if you think me, I'm a big girl. I'm still slaying in this life. It's fine. So the point is, you're not, not everyone is going to want to work with you. And it's okay. You're not everyone's cup of tea. It's really okay. But I've had modeling agencies that felt I'm too fat. And I've had modeling agencies that felt I'm too thin. I think that's another struggle with me. I'm not really plus. Okay, I am plus size. But I'm not what they really show now, yeah, what they describe. Yeah, so I'm a 36, I'm a 38. So usually when you want to go for modeling, you'll be told, oh, it's either you need to gain weight to a 44, or you need to, you need to lose weight to a 30. So usually as we really struggle a little bit, but okay. it's okay. So why can't okay. you challenge them, guys? Okay, so let me, let me see if I'm understanding your question properly. Ne? Mm. I get you said what, what made people... How can I put it? Cause you, you What's the stereotype? I'm trying to say... I, okay, I'm trying to understand your question. Mm. So are you asking what led to that? Or are you saying why are people focusing on a certain body type whenever there's like modeling, photo shoots and things like that? Yes, like... Is that I, what you're asking? Why... Okay, so why do modeling agencies focus on a certain body type? That's yeah. what you're asking. Let's go for that. Okay, so I think... I, think that's I, obvious. I don't want to be too deep about it, but I'm trying to be light. So I think for me, it comes a long way. It's not something that just happened overnight. True. Yeah. So for example, I feel like as South Africans, we've been colonized a lot. So I'm just going to be light about it. So things like st having straight hair. You know, as black South Africans, we've always had like our afros. Mm -hmm. You know, we've always been simple when it comes to our hair. But we were reintroduced to how women should look for example yeah so when col when colon colonization happened in south africa or in africa as a whole you know new ideas were introduced so we had to learn all there's something called straight hair so women started straightening out their hair we started focusing on certain body types whenever there were adverts né, we would see like a very skinny girl so as a person i feel like we were what's the word what's the word we what's were the word y'all tell us come in <laughs> i don't want to say mold né? yeah but we were we were brainwashed we were we were made to believe Jorge, having a certain body size you are beautiful yeah so if if you don't look like that then you have to work towards looking like that don't you think us as women we trash each other we, we do because we do. obviously if i go to a costume and i'm told by a lady or I, i'm at a street and then she's okay 
a lady that you too fat. What does that oh my entail God. as us as like we women guys? I feel like, like as women are we are we not a threat of, to each other? Uh, and I, it shouldn't be like I think to get to this point is a whole lot. <clears throat> I think we can start it at patriarchy, honestly. Yes. Um Oh, it's a whole lot. I honestly don't want to get into that. It's, I just feel like it's a whole system mm. where... Okay, let's cut it short to men and women, right? Mm. So, um, we can bring it down to... Let's start with color. So, black men felt small, right? Yeah. They felt small when they were oppressed by these black... I mean, with these white like men. Men. True. So, to in order to still seem like they still have power, they had to come and use it or oppress it upon As the woman yeah. the black woman do you understand mm. so now women are this are so bit mm. that we feel that now because i am this angry woman or i am this hurt woman i should put it upon another woman yes do you understand mm. so we have that now we compete about everything mm. and i feel like if we stood together life would be so much better sorry guys <laughs> you know i saw a post on it was trending that the way women love each other when they are drunk in the bathrooms is so beautiful. Yeah. And if we could actually live like that, yeah, yeah, yeah. that would be so amazing. Mm, that's guys. true. That so, so true. I think we have a long way to go. But guys, let's not just focus on the bad. I think as a nation, we've made a lot of progress because of, we are now woke. We are more liberal. We now talk. We now express how we feel as women. And I think that has brought some of us together and... You should be positive. I think we're making progress. I think true. There's still okay, a lot so that's still need to black be, women. Honestly. Okay, so for me, yeah. I understand the whole positivity, but I feel like we should all also be realistic. Okay. I get the fact that okay, we are changing, blah blah blah, but we do get women that actually bash other women. Yeah. I feel like a lot of people hide behind insecurity comments. Mm -hmm. You know, they would yeah. they would make someone feel small just to make themselves feel good better. about themselves bullies. so i feel like there's yes there's a lot of bullies out there yeah you know you would find for example you would find a skinny girl feeling small about being skinny there are actually skinny girls that actually feel small mm, sure. and then the, you would find that they would find a woman like duello a full-figured you know confident woman and they would say things like oh my gosh you should lose weight this is how you should look or you know Whatever dress that you're wearing looks good on a skinny person. Yeah. That doesn't make them confident. True. That's why I always say there's a difference between being confident and being arrogant. Oh, yes. So there's a slight difference between confident and being... And confidence... And, you know, you bashing on other woman <laughs> doesn't make you confident. Yeah. Oh, thanks, baby. You know, it doesn't make you confident. So, women, I feel like... As women, there are certain things we need to learn about ourselves. We yeah. need to trust ourselves. We have you to. know. I love this quote. I read it this morning. It says, um, confident women do not hate. Ooh. It says, confident women do not hate. So I feel like there's so okay. much weight behind that. It, it, there's there's so much. Like, there's a lot of... Like, there's a lot we need to learn from that statement. Yeah. It's not just about uh, uploading it on Instagram. But do you really understand what it means? Confidence. Yeah. What is confidence? Yeah. And it's not about the likes that... Uh, I'm just giving her a like because I know her. Mm. No. Yeah. Mm. No. Don't give me a like just because you know me. And, and then getting few likes... Exactly and getting few likes doesn't mean you're not beautiful. That's another True. thing. Guys, can we please stop finding validation on, on social, social media. media because honestly hey, it's gonna kill you it, is. it all looks rosy on social media it is not mm. like if it, it is not rosy at all before i understood this thing eh, i was i i literally got conf uh, confirmation from from social media when i was not that confident where i'd literally post a picture and you'd go and check who liked it, who liked it, it how many likes, and oh, if I'm like, okay, oh. I've got like five likes, and then I'll go to maybe a similar picture, like, why does this one have 15, 100 likes? What's Can I touch on that? Like, I have guys. a similar experience. I have a similar experience. Um, I got to a point where I actually did some introspection on myself because I like this thing of just sitting, you know, get like getting That's deep, so trying to understand myself because I'm addicted to trying to understand why I do certain things. Okay. So I got to a point where I'm like, I have a similar experience where I would like post. Mm -hmm. Whenever I get to a new place, I would like post and want to show people where, where I am. Are you? Yeah. So I sat back and I was like, 
this is not life. No, it's not. Mm. This is not life because I got to an answer where so that means I'm doing it for people. I am not present. Oh, so yes. I am not present in the moment. So I am not enjoying. Friend, yeah. So I am not enjoying where I am. I'm I trying to was. prove because I got because well, so when I was doing my introspection, I got to a point. I'm like, so that means I am not living. I'm not mm. present. Mm. I am trying to show people that when you are there, um, no, I'm not seeing it right. I got to a point where I realized that. So when I get to a point, when I get to a place, I want to post, man. Because why? I want to show people that Tiro is living. Wow. Oh, okay. That Tiro is living. So if you're not posting, you are not yeah. living. Or you're going through a bad. Or you're yeah. going through a bad time. So the only way to show people that you're living is by posting where you are. True. So I sat back and 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 I was like, no, this is not life. Because when you go maybe for example maybe for the first time you go to spur you go back every two seconds and want to see how many people like like so what does that mean you are not present Definitely. you are doing it for people yeah so i, I had to go today. back and be like this is not life that's deep so how i dealt oh, about it oh, is oh. i sit back nah, and i stopped posting for a while people that know me will tell you i used to post oh, yeah, weekly i posted everything my new lipstick New outing with my boyfriend, new clothes or new shoes that I bought, a new handbag. But I was like, this is not life. So I'm basically not living. I'm flashing the mm, things that I have. Yeah. So I had to stop for a while. But another thing I want to have to stop for a while, guys. She another thing is we're not saying if you're posting it's wrong. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're not no, saying it. Yeah. Uh-uh. We're not. It's how it happens. It's how so you do it. it's how you do it. So if you're showing it because you want to flash. Okay, let me not say that. People are going to attack us. Guys. No, just say it. I say think, it. do you post... Not personally, I don't want anything about my life anymore because of I've built my brand. Well, I'm building my brand online and I'm okay with people just seeing Belva and nothing else. And that's it. I don't, you, got, you don't need to see anything about my relationship, anything about family. But it doesn't mean we make it look rosy. Yeah. If you come to me, I'll be honest, is yes. business easy? <laughs> no. It's not. But we continue and we... Yeah, but can I, I go back to what she said? Like she said, there's nothing wrong with posting. There's nothing wrong. Hence, why I made an example about a personal experience that I realized that I was doing it for people. So that means my confidence level was not was based, based on was the based lives on people the life that I got. Yeah. So there's nothing wrong. Like even now, I do post about my boyfriend. I do post about me going out, but I don't do it as much as before because the reason why I did Ooh, it before yeah. was because I wanted to show people that I was living. So there's nothing wrong with posting. It's just a matter of how you do it. Are you being honest with yourself? Are you sure that you're just doing it for yourself or are you doing it for people? Uh-huh. So that's just my point. Guys, do the right thing. Sorry, guys. I'll come. I'll talk now. Do it for you, baby. Do it for be you. you. Be you all the do time. You for you. Mm. All the, the time. time. All the time, baby. Just. I want to talk about something else, guys. Okay, can I just say add on share on likes and what? Yeah, sure. Now, guys, shares are important for me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna sit here and lie. <laughs> ah, shares are important, guys. Now it's important for people to share my work, and I'm grateful. But why? for the shares because of exposure, Your work. because exactly. of my work. It's not, ah, it's not my personal life. You imagine sharing my personal life and you enjoy it much. But <coughs> my family sang great because I would have put it out there. Yeah, because yeah, she said it. Yeah. Mm. But I, I'm grateful for all the shares, for all the the likes, yeah, but you're not getting your business. Yeah, then that doesn't really bring the money. What brings the money is who gets to see your work and who gets who it reaches to and if they're impressed by your work and what. So shares really important to So how does it feel to be black? And having your own business and not working, relying mm. on your business. I don't have a business. I'm asking this because, of course, they have businesses, and I would like to go into this YouTube business, this thing, and maybe one day make it like my literally my income. That okay, I can you please just on. repeat that question? Just to make sure I understand what you're asking. How does it feel to be black? Not unemployed because you you guys are your own employee. Yeah. yeah. No, but I just know what you mean by unemployed, like nine to five. Nine to five. Yeah. 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 And owing your own business in South Africa. Okay, so for me, point number one, I love my business. It feels great to have a business. Can I say something? 
Black people, y'all don't support for Jag. But ew. Even, they do. Whoa. Mm-hmm. I, think, I feel like they do. Can we give black people the credit, guys? Mm-hmm. I, I know. Don't. No, no. Black people and family. Who cares about families? Black, black people and family. Okay, so honestly, when it comes no. to family, I prefer not being supported Me by too. family. Trash. Because, no, besides being trash, I feel like it makes things easier. <laughs> It makes things easier because situations. you know yeah. yes it makes things easier because when you deal with family no, they, not. I'm sorry guys they expect free stuff True. they don't understand the end goal but to me they should be there at the door knocking the number one supporting uh, no trust home. me trust me it feels good for me personally I wouldn't want my family to support my business mm-hmm. it makes things easier for my life and it avoids a lot of uh, family politics. So whether we like it or not, if you have an elderly person or family wanting, for example, I sell hair, guys. I have a hair business. For example, if they want hair, for example, much oh, all just better discount to hair. Yeah, true. Nobody discount to it, then, guys. Mm-hmm. Well, I understand. I'm trying to build a brand, and building a brand from scratch is expensive. It's very. Expensive. It's expensive, especially if you don't have funding at yeah. all. If you don't have a nine to five, every if you don't cent have, goes so into every it. cent counts. Guys, if I bob. Just you go, go, guys. You need to be you need, Yeah. You need to know where it goes to. Okay. Because you need things like. Okay, I don't want to hint what my plans are. <laughs> but especially if you want to focus on things like logos, you know, if you want to have like uniform T-shirt. for your business, yeah, you pay yeah, like that. It's expensive. Yeah. Because besides business, you still need to love. We women, we need the pads, we need the panty liner, we need our all on. So you still need to love out of. Whatever money you make, so it's hard. What would you it's say hard. was one of your struggles? What or is currently your struggle? struggle? So I think one of my struggles is the fact that I'm a graduate. So when you graduate in your family, people expect amazings, ne? And by amazings, I feel like is that thing I So you went to school. You have a bachelor's degree in psychology. So why don't you practice Do something about so it? So why don't you practice as a as a counselor? So. Thing is with parents is that they have plans that they already have in their mind for you, for you, and you're not included. It's just and you're not included. They already have plans that they've made up for you. So I mean, so, yes. I know I meant I know I went to school. I know I have a bachelor's in psychology, but that doesn't mean if I start my business, I won't use it in future. Mm-hmm. It's just that I won't use it according to the timeline they made they for you. me. Oh! Do you understand? The it's not that I have, guys. It's not that I won't use it. It's just that I won't use it now. You I know? know what I want. So I think that that has been one of my challenges, especially being home. It's nothing. Yeah, for home, it's a lot. Why don't you? What's the market? Why don't you look for a job? I know what I want. Relax. Excuse, it's raining outside. Relax. So excuse yes, excuse. Me. I know what I want. Relax. Give me a chance to live my life. You told me not to have kids before marriage. I didn't. Yeah. Let. You told me to go to school and get my degree. I did that. Give so credit. give me credit on that yes. and I start living my life. Yeah. And what about you, Kay? I think my struggle is the fact that okay. everyone knows I'm a very smart girl. Yes. I'm a human calculator, but that's not the point. <laughs> the p- <laughs> no, no, honestly, guys. Mm, that's true. Like, I'm smart and it comes with a lot of pressure. Mm. Um, because if your family knows that you always kill the game, yeah, you, you smart. So with my with me is I dropped out of school. I was doing economics, and for my mom, my mom is like, get economics. See, why would you drop out of school? And it's because of passion. Mm. You know, mm. you get a lot of um, people that say passion doesn't put um, food on the table, table but does. it's putting food on my table. Right. It's it's food. Food. Yeah. But you know, another thing is. Honestly, the pressures that our families put. Not honestly, I deal with my mom coming back from home, or I get emails from my mom about, oh, how about you apply here again yeah. and go to school? Oh, have you have you considered that so you could go back to school? So it's a lot of pressure. Um, so it sucks. You know, like I said, casualty. You have, no, I don't have that, and you will get it at your own. You know, I feel so. like. It's not about that. It's not about not that. Not everyone is destined to graduate. Wait, true. And that's not a bad thing. Not love Bonang. I, I don't care who says you, what. Honestly, People like Bonang. Bonang, right Bonang, was now, proud. No. Bonang was proud enough to be like, guys, I was going UJ and I dropped out. That's okay. And our, families, okay. our families are too much. I deal with my mom or family members saying, oh, she's graduating soon. And I'm like, yeah. 
Where? Graduating where, guys? Do we know what? Yes, so, but otherwise, it's hard, guys. It's hard because our business is not always going to be rosy at a peak. We have a lot of slumps. Mm. So you need to make sure that when you're working on your on your peak hours or your peak months, oh, yes. you make so much money, you put up your A game, mm. that on the slumps, slump months, you have enough Something money to survive. Exactly. Yes. You know? Mm. And parents... Don't see it like that. Families, Can I also add something on that about families are hard on us. Yeah. You know, one thing people don't understand is that when you have a business, you always work long hours. Because if you have someone, if you employed someone, for example, Moto oh Hanata Bahue, this month we need to put away. When it's a property, how is a property? Salary and the salary way back. Yeah. And that's fair. That's fair, do you understand? So <laughs> when you own a business you work twice as hard compared to, to your when employees. you employed yeah. for a business yeah. because you you always need to make sure with the sales detail you are marketing enough you are advertising enough so you basically work twice as hard and you know another thing i think i face in business is a lot of people come to me like i'm starting to get recognized like you know i'll be walking down the street and someone will be like oh my gosh you're the lady that did that you know but I think I haven't reached the type of marketing I want. I want oh. And with marketing, there's a lot of strategies that I'm not going to go into mm. that you need to consider. Which marketing strategy do you think you want to take that is going to work for your brand? And I think I'm still trying to find that. I think I'm starting to find my niche and what I'm good at and yeah. just stay at it. But still, I think people in places haven't seen me yet. But I'm coming for you <laughs> and I'm coming for everything. There's a quote that says, um, every door slammed. Yeah. I am coming for the building. <laughs> Not the room. <laughs> I am building. coming for the building. Oh, nice. From top to bottom. Honestly, it's, it's, it's rough. But Na- yeah. look at, I was going through a crisis. I think it was a week ago or two weeks ago. And I didn't post on YouTube. And I was like, okay, I don't have content. And I told to myself, I told my people that every week I'm gonna be yeah. posting, and I'm gonna be crazy, and I'm gonna be funny. But I wasn't that week. Mm-hmm. I was not in the mood of posting. I was not in the mood of sharing whatever I was going through. And it's okay. Is it? It's okay. Mm-hmm. That's what I wanted to ask you guys. It's okay. Like I feel like I'm going through a crisis where I want a new portfolio for my for my modeling. I want. My my equipment for my YouTube to yeah. be proper and standard. Where I'm about, I'm at a stage where should I post this YouTube channel thing? You know, should I, I just wait just because I don't have A B C D E F G mm-hmm. and I just work at a nine to seven? It's, it's should I put a hold on my dreams just because? No, no, I wouldn't advise you to do you that. You know what, ne? It's okay to have weeks where you're not inspired. Mm. What you're building on YouTube is not um a what's the word? It's not people that are looking at your content like that. You yeah. know, this is a family that you're building. Yes. And it's okay to be honest with them. Oh, hey, guys, last week, week, I was not inspired. Last week, I was down and I was down. Mm. And it's okay. Honestly. It's okay not to be inspired. Lena, I finished the whole week. I did, I think, four looks. Mm-hmm. I filmed two times and everything just looked horrible. And it's okay. I didn't put out any content. And it's okay, guys. Mm. People need to understand. It. There are people that are going to come for you. But just let them not block you. Look, I don't care. I block you. If you're if you're negative, <laughs> goodbye. <laughs> but it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay to start small I and build up. Them, no, though. like I feel like I lied to them in a way. No, lied no. how? It's not about lying. Okay. Lied how? You're doing it now. You have a camera. Yeah, you're making it work for them. They're appreciating you coming out and telling your story. You have a beautiful story to tell. You have. You come a long way. True. You 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 come. A I long think way. why. <laughs> I think what I like about this channel is that you were honest about the fact that okay you don't have a camera blah 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 blah. I like that. And I'm not gonna give you guys a fake accent. Yeah, yeah please you don't, don't do that. So I like the fact that you're honest about it. So if you're feeling down or you couldn't take a video, be, be honest. Guys, it's okay. I'm not gonna do makeup on this channel ever. <laughs> be it's, honest. Unless it's her. I don't know how to do my makeup on camera, guys. So the, the like my little sister was actually suggesting like I told you guys I was down in out last week. She's like, do pranks. And I'm like, Ooh. but I'm not a prankster. You know what? I always say stick to your vision. Yes. Thank okay. Um stick to your vision. I, I see with me, 
Mm. I think I've shared this with you guys, but let me tell people you get when you start working hard mm. and you your your brand is coming up, sorry, you get a lot of people notice you and I get brands that approach me that I would never work with. I'm not gonna pick on you or take you because then I want to be an influencer of something. You know? Do you understand? So you need to stick to your vision. If the vision was body confidence and my spirituality whatever it is stick to that true they came here mm. for that they didn't come here to see pranks even if they're not the i'm videos. not saying there's anything wrong with you doing other things true but you shouldn't feel small or your crowd shouldn't make you feel small because you're not doing that because this, this is like the content you that you're not <laughs> can i can i please add name i <laughs> feel like when you start because this is a business it is, it is. i feel like one trade important that one person needs to have when starting a business is patience yeah i need to because i think that's one that's one of the things okay there's a project i've been working not for yet. Okay? <laughs> not <It's>, yet <laughs> sorry, guys. Sorry, so sorry. there's a project i've been working on it's been like a year and a couple of months what a project okay. a project i can't i can't sorry. say it now but there's a project i've been working because i'm i'm gay i won't say i'm halfway like there's only like little things oh, that you need. Okay. But then because I know what I want, I won't you won't settle. Do it. I won't do it. I won't settle because I know what I want. So one thing I've learned is that patience, be honest with yourself. Stop comparing your your business to yeah, other yeah. businesses. True. Because you don't know how people started. I know I started on a zero. I yeah. had to save for a mannequin. I had to save for one packet of Happy C. I had to save for Ned A1, and that's where I started. Wow. That's like in wow. the 25th of February 2017. Wow. That's when I started. <laughs> so I told myself, I will not say anything about this project up that's until I get to a point don't. where I know I am ready. How do you deal with rejection? Sorry about that. Rejection in, in terms, terms of, of what it depends. In terms of business, in terms of dreams, in terms of. Being in a relationship and being rejected from your mom, your family, in terms of everything, rejection. I think it's it's different when it's family or your mm. your brand or business, whatever. Anything is painful. Rejection will always be painful. I think when you get rejected, maybe let's say you're proposing to a company and you know your worth and you know the kind of work you can put out for them mm. when you work with them. And you get rejected. It's a lot of pain because if you know what you can do, you know your art, you have mastered your art. But one thing I've learned about reading the War of Art, Art of War, no, the War of Art. There's a difference. It's two different books. There's, there's the Art of War, and there's the War of Art. So the War of Art says that as much as you and your brand are one, you are still two different people. Yes. Mm. So you need to understand that you can't take offense sometimes. Mm. You can't. Sometimes you can't take it personal. I because of you, as much as you're building her mm -hmm. and you're building this Dewey brand, when you get rejected, it mustn't kick you so much that you can't wake up the next day yeah. and you can't face mm -hmm. life. So your your business or your brand is one entity and you are yeah. another. Mm. And then yeah. when I turn before you, I think for me, there was that incident that happened in December yeah. that, oh, that actually opened my eyes. I don't want to lie. I'm a very patient person. I'm very patient Can you move and I'm very loving. So I was I was exposed to a situation where I was pushed too hard yeah. to a point where I didn't like it. So that's where I learned Jorge. Her heart heart is not, I don't mind. Okay. So Go so what it. happened was I had a client, right? So I made two, I think it's two weeks, if not three weeks for her. So there was this one time where she wanted me to fix something, but it had nothing, it, it had nothing to do with the hair. It has something to do like you see the bends. Yeah, that you have to clip. That you had to clip, yeah, yeah, the clip ons. So she wanted me to exchange those, ne? So that the wig becomes tight. more tight. Okay. So fine. So she texted me, so I was like, no, it's not a problem, you can come. So me being me, I decided to wash her hair. Because I felt like I didn't like the condition that it was in. Guys, I'm obsessed with hair. So you that's are. besides the point. So I decided, okay, let me just do this for her because she's my client, you know? You have yeah. to I know she was going to come back. So I just wanted her hair to look good. Yeah. So it wasn't healthy. So I decided, let me just wash it and condition the hair. Okay, fine. She came. 
let me just cut the long story, story short. short because now we're gonna waste time so she came she bought the hair i did whatever then she came she fetched the hair so what i normally do is that i would ask a client are you happy with your hair but you know sometimes you you do get those shy clients yeah so i wait for you to get home and then i would usually call after like a day or two days i would call you hi are you are you sure you're happy with your hair should there be anything that you don't like please let me know Oh, she was okay. She sounded happy. She was fine. And then it happened that she tasted me saying her hair is missing. So then I explained to her, no, the hair is not missing. What happened is that conditioner brings your hair down. It doesn't It doesn't make your hair to become too frizzy. Oh, okay. Nah, it brings down your hair. I get when her hair came, it was like frizzy. So then I decided to use conditioner because if I didn't, it was going to break her hair. Her hair was going to yeah. break. So then she started accusing me of stealing hair. So, so over to me, you literally took yes, the wig. I took like, like, like cut yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, okay, guys, no, listen, I wasn't offended. The first yeah. time I wasn't offended, I was like, no, I did not steal your hair. I do not steal from my clients. All my clients know. That's how honest I am. Because even if you want um, a wig, a bag, and two bundles, I would give you your, if there's your third. Yeah, your I would third. give you your third one because that's how I sell my hair. So then I asked her to come over, but then that day she couldn't because. She's very light, so she, I think she has like a skin problem. So, we like, drew, it's her so I was like, no, it's fine. I understand. But when you come, please just let me know so that I make sure I'm home. True. It turned out into being this huge thing where she accused me of stealing her hair. Because she kept on emphasizing on the fact that her hair is missing. So whenever I tried to explain, she would dump. So she could, like, she didn't give me a chance to talk. To yeah. talk. Explain. Guys, I lost it. I lost it. I always tell people I don't like people seeing the side of me when I'm angry. That's Trust business. me, mm -hmm. I'm two yeah. different people. You will never think, oh, that's me. Yeah. You know, that's how bad it becomes. To a point where, did I hit her? I think I did. I broke her. I know I broke her glass. She broke her glass. I know I broke her glass, but then... It was bad. What I, it? Yes. What and annoyed me... Yes, because I think I broke all her nails because her nails fell. So what annoyed me is Hi. that she was calm after that. But then I realized that she was influenced. Yeah, she was. She was influenced. So when she saw that side, she didn't she didn't expect it. Mm. She was expecting that soft, sweet tero. The forever knows. smiling mm. tero. Yeah. That so she probably thought that she was gonna accuse me and I was probably gonna give her another bundle and you know, life was gonna go on. But then she came on a bad day. So from that I learned what happened was not right. Yeah. It was not right. She was a client. Mm. As much as she was wrong, she's a client. Mm. I am trying to grow something. Mm. It's a business. Like they say, even though they say the client is always right, but there are other measures you can take to solve a problem. True. But then it got to a point where I made it personal. Mm -hmm. I let it get to me, yep. which was wrong of me. Mm -hmm. Because like Kia said, when you have a business, hair art is hair art. Tseho is tseho. So when I when I get Take into that, yeah. so when I get into business mode, I am not tseho anymore. I am hair art. art. True. It's hard. Did yes. she apologize though? No, she did. Okay. And I also apologized. Okay. I also apologized. I was like, you know what? I'm sorry, but. I was pushed. Okay. And me saying that it doesn't make it right. Yeah. I was pushed, yes, but it does not make it right. I am handling a business and would you ever do business with her again? I don't think so. Okay. One thing about me is that it's hard for me to forgive. I don't know how to forgive. Okay. Mm -hmm. I, I always tell people I don't That's know true. how to forgive. And it's hard for me to look back after something like this has happened. happened. Because it pushed me to a point. You know, I, there, there was a point in my life where I actually went to counseling because I want you to understand myself. Mm -hmm. So, those are one of the things I dealt with okay. in counseling. Anger, getting angry, things like that. So, I felt like she took me back. To the, she took me back to that dark place that I didn't ever want to see in my life. So, all my life, I've been this patient person. So, now she took me back. So, it's going to be hard. And you know what? I still like her. She's a very nice girl. She's, very She's nice. a very nice girl. I don't know what happened. We all have bad days. But the truth is, 
I don't know what forgiveness is. I don't know so how to forgive. You learn it to me. That is I'm positive. Yeah. That's something I want to work on, but I don't know how to forgive. Okay. And as much as I said, okay, it's fine, I'll forgive you. It's like when I you can't mean it. forgive, I'm not patient. I don't know how to I forgive. guess we all don't we all not perfect after all. We're no, all we're not. Our we all hence I said mm. in our previous video that like we like we don't have a manual to how we need to live our lives. So in most aspects we have to learn. Adapt. Ad exactly. We have to adapt. I'm a so cycle. it's a it's, it's a process. It's a process. But I learned, but overall I learned a lot from that experience. Yeah. I've learned that hair art is hair art. Yeah. Zero is zero. Separate your brand from yourself. Yes. It's as much as yeah, we were on rejection. So as much mm -hmm. as you get rejected or what something or go through experiences like Tiho went through. You just need to consider the fact that you've built this brand and you can't just let it go down the drain mm. because girl you cannot oh boy you can't afford because it. of a misunderstanding because mm. of a misunderstanding i uphold my brand too high and mm. i no oh my god really it really it was delicious so thank you guys for watching like guys now i'm so like no not no, no. Which is almost worse. Go for it. She wants to say something. Um, always stay true to yourself. Stay on your knees and continue to be humble. Last words from me. Your dreams are valid. I love your dreams are valid. And last words from me is do you believe holy? It's lots of love. It's a famous girl. It's a one of those girls. Well, like, subscribe, and comment. But most of all, don't forget to hit the red button. Guys, I love this. I think I'm gonna be the very often. Very, very often, Jim. No, I'm not the opposite. Kusek na ya apa? Sizo na food. Thank you guys for watching. Much love. Love you guys. Bye.